FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And because we got most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside, the Dow's up 200 points, 35,655 is the print. The S&P's up 20, 4538. NASDAQ is off five. Semis are down two. Russell's up 17. The trannies are the big percentage mover to the upside, up one full percentage point, 151 points, out at 15. Four. Oh, you got the wrong screen again. Sorry about that, folks. Stevie multitasking and doing a poor job of it. Here are the uh, screens to take a look at. Uh, you've got gold up $17, silver's up 60 pennies, trading out of 24.48. Let's go take a look at our market uh, update, uh, nine panel market update chart. In the upper left hand side, you'll see the ES Mini. What you'll see here is price has attained the 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD price projection. 45.22 is the number there. We're trading at 45.29. Short of a bearish reversal candle forming, price should go target the next level. The next level is 45.78. That is a likely outcome right now because the wind is at our back, and that's because that spot volatility is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average out there. The NQ, she has also hit the 1.272 expansion level. Short of a bearish reversal candle, price should go target 15.610. The U.S. dollar index right now is, uh, this formed a, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top last week. Uh, the top of that daily box has held as support up until right now as we speak. If there is a close today below the level of 93.74, I really suggest to run back to the 93.12 level. Gold, the gold is taken on the center of its weekly profile. Uh, a close above that level, which would be 17.90, could suggest a move up to 18.38. In the case of silver, she's in full breakout mode, priced now above the top of its weekly chart. Of course, it's only Wednesday, and so a Friday close above 24.23 will be a bullish outcome. Light sweet crude, forming a new daily profile, or attempting to, I should say. Price is trading above that. No bearish reversal candle. If price can clear the 83.40 hurdle, 87.30 would be next up on its target. Natural gas finding support at the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. And the 30-year treasury also finding support, and that's at the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 157.14. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Wednesday, do us a favor here. Have a wonderful one, and uh, tune back in again soon. For the rest of you, we'll see you in just a few moments.